Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss transforming standard equation of ellipse to general form. So, alalahanin natin yung mga equation, yung vertex form ng ellipse. So, ito yung mga yun. Kapag yung uh, center natin sa origin, ito yung equation natin. And then, kapag yung major axis niyan, horizontal. At kapag vertical naman, ito yung equation natin. And then, kapag yung may, uh, center natin, no, wala sa origin, so, and then yung major axis natin, horizontal, so ito yung magiging equation natin. And then, kapag yung major axis natin, vertical, at ay yung center natin, wala sa origin, so ito yung uh, equation natin. So, mula dito sa equation na to, gagawin natin general form. So, ito yung general form natin. Okay? Let us proceed for example number 1. We have the quantity of x plus 3 squared over 25 plus the quantity of y minus 1 squared over 4 is equal to 1. So, ano yung una yung gagawin kapag mag-transform uh, tayo ng standard equation to general form? So, unang gawing class, hanapin yung LCD. Ano yung LCD ni 25 and 4? Madalas, uh, ang LCD nito ay yung product ng dalawa. Minsan, uh, isa sa kanila. Okay? Yung LCD nila. So, sa example number 1 natin, imumultiply natin sila para makuha natin yung LCD. So, sa case lang na to, no hindi madalas na ganun ang, gina ang gagawin. So, yung LCD natin is 100. Okay? And then, after natin makuha yung 100, imumultiply natin, imumultiply natin itong LCD natin sa bawat side ng equation natin. So, both side ng equation, imumultiply natin kay 100. So, itong nasa left side, imumultiply kay 100 at yung 1, imumultiply din kay 100. So, ito class, pwede natin i-cancel out. Okay? Kasi yung 100 sa 25, pwede yan. So, yung 100 divide 25, that is 4. And then, ang maiwan na lang, x plus 3 squared. Then, dito, plus 100 divide 4, that is 25, times y minus 1 squared. So, yan na lang na iwan. And then, sa kabila, 1 times 100, that is 100. Ngayon, class, kung mapapansin nyo, parang nagpalit lang no yung denominator natin. Nagpalit lang sila. So, ganyan palagi ang mapapansin nyo. Nagpapalit, parang nagpalit lang sila. Now, hindi agad natin mamumultiply si 4 kay x plus 3 squared dahil naka-squared o binomial ito. So, ang gagawin muna natin, at ganun din yung y minus 1 squared. Ang gagawin muna natin, kunin muna natin yung square of binomial na x, yung x plus 3 squared natin. So, kasi ibig sabihin niyan, uh, dalawang x plus 3 kukunin natin. So, using the FOIL method, pwedeng gamitin natin yung uh, strategy na yun para makuha natin yung product ng x plus 3 squared. So, x plus 3 times x plus 3. So, x times x, that is x squared. Ito yon. So, x times 3, that is 3x. Three, 3 times x, that is 3x. And 3 times 3, that is positive 9. So, combine natin yung similar terms. So, 3x plus 3x, that is 6x. Copy x squared and copy 9. So, ito na ngayon yung uh, x plus 3 squared natin x squared plus 6x plus 9 another yung y minus 1 squared so y minus 1 times y minus 1 so equals y times y that is y squared y times negative 1 that is negative 1y or pwede nang ilagay dito negative y na lang negative 1 times y that is negative 1y or y Negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. And then, combine similar terms, negative y or negative 1y minus 1y, that is negative 2y. So, y minus 1 squared is equal to y squared minus 2y plus 1. So, balikan natin yung last step natin na ito. So, ito ay pinakita ko lang para maalala nyo kung paano, paano kinukuha yung product kapag naka-square of binomial tayo. Okay, so mula dito, mula sa equation na to gagawin natin ito. Ito yung goal natin. Kailangan maging ganito yung equation natin. So, 
maging ax squared so in, in naka general form so, so balikan natin so mula dito so 4 times so yung x plus 3 squared that is x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 25 so yung y minus 1 squared ay y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 100. And then, i-multiply natin itong 4 sa loob natin, ng parenthesis natin. So, 4 times x squared, that is 4x squared, plus 4 times 6x, that is 24x, plus 4 times 9, that is 36. And then, sa 25 naman, plus 25 times y squared, that is 25y squared, 25 times negative 2y, that is negative 50y. 25 times 1, that is positive 21. Uh, 25 rather, equals 100. And then after nito, since uh, kailangan pagsamahin natin yung mga constant term, and then dapat dito sa right side ang maiwan dito yung 0. So ilipat muna natin si 100 dito sa kabilang side natin, sa left side natin. So magiging negative 100 yan. And after that, so sundan lang natin itong pattern na to para magawa natin in general form yung equation na to. So dapat ang nauna yung mayroong x squared. So yan ay yung 4x squared. Okay? And then yung kasunod, yung may y squared. So ito yon So positive 25y squared. And then yung may variable na x. Ito yon 24x. And then yung may variable na y, that is negative 50y. So yung E, that is constant. So, saan manggagaling yan? So, sa constant term natin. 36 plus 25 minus 100. The answer is negative 39 equals 0. So, ito na ngayon yung general form ng equation na to. Another example. x squared over 4 plus the quantity of y minus 2 squared over 16 is equal to 1. So, uh, kanina yung LCD para madbis natin nakuha kasi minultiply lang natin yung denominator natin This time, so yung no need na i-multiply natin kasi si 16, yun na yung LCD natin dito Okay? So yung LCD natin dito is yung 16 Sabi ko nga sa inyo, uh, hindi madalas na ang gagawin nyo ay i-multiply nyo yung dalawang denominator natin So minsan is uh, isa sa denominator natin yung LCD. All right? So let us proceed now. So the LCD is 16. So ang gagawin ulit, i-multiply natin yung both side ng equation natin sa 16. Okay? So 16 divide 4 that is 4 times x squared, so 4x squared plus 16 divide 16 that is 1. So ang maiiwan na lang is y minus 2 squared is equal to 1 times 16, that is 16. So, ito hindi agad natin ma-plus. No? Hindi agad natin ma-plus yung y minus 2 squared kasi kailangan natin muna ito i-simplify. So, y minus 2 squared is y minus 2 times y minus 2. So, y times y. So, that is y squared minus 2y minus 2y plus 4. Or, by combining similar terms, the answer is y squared minus 4y plus 4. So, ito yun, yung uh, sagot natin kay y minus 2 squared. So, that is 4x squared plus, so, kunin na, ang sagot natin dito is y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 16. So, ganito ang mangyayari ngayon. So, sundan natin ulit yung general form natin. The answer is 4x squared plus y squared. Since wala tayong value ng may, yung, uh, may variable na x, so wala tayong ilalagay. And then yung y natin, so meron tayong negative 4y plus 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. So naging minus, yung 16, nilipat na natin dito sa left side. Then simplify natin yun, 4 minus 16, that is negative 12. So ito ngayon ang general form ng equation na to. Okay, last uh, example. We have the quantity of x minus 2 squared over 25 plus the quantity of y minus 5 squared over 144 is equal to 1. So, the LCD is 3,600. So, wala dito sa dalawa yung maging LCD kasi hindi natin pwede i-divide si 
125, hindi pwede may divide mula kay 144. So, ang ginawa, multiply natin yung dalawa. So, 25 times 144, that is 3,600. Yan yung LCD niya. So, ganun din, mumultiply natin both sides of the equation sa 3,600. So, 3,600 divided 25, that is 144. And then, ang may iwan na lang dito is x minus 2 squared plus 3,600 divided by 144. So, ang may iwan na lang doon ay, so, 3,600 again, 3,600 divided by 144, the answer is 25 times y minus 5 squared is equal to 3,600. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, kunin muna natin ang sagot ng x minus 2 squared at y minus 5 squared. So, ito yan. Okay? So, ang sagot natin kay x minus 2 squared is x squared minus 4x plus 4. Kay y minus 5 squared naman ay y squared minus 10y plus 25. So, balikan natin ito. So, Ina natin si 144 kay x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then si 25, i-multiply natin kay y squared minus 10y plus 25 is equal to 3,600. And then, 144 times x squared, that is 144x squared. 144 minus 4x, ah, 144 times negative 4x, that is negative 576x. 144 times 4, that is positive 576, plus 25 times y squared, that is 25y squared, 25 times negative 10y, that is negative 250y, 25 times 25, positive 625, is equal to 3,600. Ganun din, lipat natin muna si 3,600 dito sa left side. So, gawin lang natin pattern ito. Una, hanapin natin yung may x squared. So, that is 144x squared plus yung merong y squared. So, that is positive 25y squared. Then, yung may variable na x, that is negative 576x. And then, yung may variable na y, that is negative 250y. And then, yung constant term natin, 576 plus 625 minus 3600, that is negative 2. 2,399 is equal to 0. So, ito ngayon yung general form ng equation na to. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math Channel.